Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this dropshipping Shopify website. This website is specifically for one product Shopify stores. By the way, this tutorial is not just limited to dropshipping stores. If you have a regular e commerce business or a print on demand store, you can still follow this tutorial. This website is mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on desktop and mobile devices, and this can fit all types of businesses. In this video, I'll be covering how to set up your Shopify account, how to connect an AliExpress product to your Shopify account. Account, how to design your product page, and then I'll be showing you how I designed this homepage slash sales page. So without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. First off, you're going to want to set up your Shopify account. You can get started with a free trial and later you can select one of their plans to get started. Click online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. And I'm going to be installing the original Dawn theme and this is going to be the base for our website. Once that has installed, you're going to click customize. At this timestamp in the video, I'll show you how I took this basic homepage and transformed it into this sales page. All right, and next I'll be showing you how to connect an AliExpress product to your Shopify store. So I'm going to be using the platform Deezers, and this is a platform perfect for connecting AliExpress products to your Shopify store. So first you're going to set up a free account, and then you're going to select which platform you're using, and this will take you to Shopify's app store, where you can install Deezers into your store. Under link to suppliers, you can select AliExpress. Then you'll be redirected to a page where you can log into your AliExpress account, and that will automatically connect it to your Deezers account. Once you open Deezers, you're going to want to install their Chrome extension. Click add to Chrome, and for the Chrome extension, you're going to want to re-log in to your Deezer's account. This way, when you're searching for products on AliExpress, you'll have the option to add that product to your Deezer's account. Back here on Deezer's, you're going to go to Import List, and this will show you the products that you've imported. And then to add this product to your Shopify store, you're going to click this icon right here. Be sure to select Also Publish to Online Store. Then you're on Shopify, click Products, then click on that product. And here is where you can customize the appearance of the product. I'd recommend putting a simple title for your product, then, simplifying the product description, feel free to use AI writing tools to write an excellent product description. And feel free to customize this description by importing new images, adjusting the current images, and be sure to leave in some of the important product features. You can also delete some of the cover photos or rearrange them. And for the product variants, you can add or remove the different colors or sizing variants. Click on a variant, and here you can set your price for the product. Next, I'll be showing you how to connect the reviews from AliExpress to this product on your Shopify store. I'm going to be using the app Luke's to connect the AliExpress product reviews. You're going to open the Shopify app store, then install the app Luke's. I'd recommend their scale plan, and this plan includes a free trial. Click add Luke's to your theme, open reviews, then click import reviews. Then you're going to drag and drop this icon to your bookmark section. On AliExpress, you're going to open up that product and open that bookmark. Select the product you're dropshipping and how many reviews you'd like to import. I'm gonna click preview and import and then you can manually select which reviews you'd like to approve. Then you're gonna open the Dawn Shopify theme we installed earlier. Right here, I'm gonna click add section to template. Click featured product and this is where you can select that product. When you click this mobile icon, it will show you how the mobile version of the website will look. So this will be the homepage slash sales page of your website. When visitors click view full details, it will open the full product page. Right under the title of the product, I'm going to select a Luke's Reviews Trust Badge. And that's how to embed those reviews straight from AliExpress. Then at the bottom of the page, click Add Section to Template. And first I'm going to add a Rating Widget. Then I'm going to increase the size of this section. Then I'm going to add a Snippet Widget. And this will display a snippet of the reviews. And then I'm going to import another trust badge. And under align, I'm going to select fill container. And then you'll have a simplistic reviews section along with a clickable reviews badge. Next, I'll show you how to add a link to all of your shop policies. Click settings, then open your shop policies. And here you can write your return and refund policy, your terms of service policy, and your shipping policy. And they do have default templates that you can use. Open online store, then navigation, and then open your footer menu. And here you can import each of those policy pages. Click save menu. And when you open your website theme, right here under footer, click add block, then select menu. And I'm gonna remove the title of this section. And this will take users straight to those policy pages. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to customize the main menu. Open online store, then navigation, then open the main menu. Remove the catalog section, then upload your product. This way, customers will be able to open your product here. Then to fulfill an order, you're going to open Deezers, click open orders, and you can view your new orders and submit the payment for them under awaiting payment. All right, and next I'll be showing you how I designed this homepage slash product sales page. First, I'm gonna click on this header. Under desktop logo position, I'm gonna set this to middle center. And under desktop menu type, I'm gonna set this to drawer. Click on the announcement bar. And here I'm gonna display the social media icon. Click theme settings, then social media. And here you can paste the links to your brand's social media accounts. The clickable social media handles will display on the announcement bar of your website and down here on the footer of your website. Then I'm gonna remove the announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. Click colors, then open color scheme two. I'm going to set this background to black and the text color to white. I'm going to change the solid button label to white and the outline button to white. Click on the header and I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header and right here I'm going to be removing this effect. Open logo and here you can upload your logo and favicon image. Under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. Click on the image banner. I'm gonna remove the image overlay opacity and I'm gonna remove this text box and the button label. I've opened up Canva and here I'll be showing you how I designed that main web banner. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners. So I'm gonna click custom size and the dimensions I'm gonna do are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm going to change the background to black. Then under Upload Files, you can upload any pictures you'd like to add straight from your computer. I'll be using Canva's background removal feature. This is a Canva Pro feature, so if you don't have Canva Pro, I'd recommend using a free background removal tool. I'm going to insert a text box, apply the font Futura, and I'm going to put this in uppercase, then bold, and then italic. Then I'm going to duplicate this text box. Then I'm going to duplicate this text box and create a smaller tagline text right below it. I'm going to click elements, then upload a square shape. Change this to the color black, then apply a border. And I'm going to change the border to white. Then I'm going to upload another text box, apply the font Alta. I'm going to click effects and apply a curved effect. Then I'm going to download this page in a PNG format for the best quality. On Shopify, you're going to click select image, then upload that web banner design. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Then to create the shop qualities section, right here I'm going to add a multi column. Remove the heading and the button label and increase the number of columns to 4. I'm going to remove the column background and set the column alignment to center. Then under heading, you can type in a quality that your shop has to offer and you can put a mini description to match. I'm also going to change this section to color scheme 2. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page and here I'll be showing you how I designed those icons. Under shapes, I'm going to upload a circle shape, then duplicate this. I'm going to search for a faded circle effect. This step is optional, but this will add a little bit of an ombre effect. Then you can upload an icon to represent each of those shop qualities. If you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free icons. Then you can duplicate this page and repeat those steps. And then you can download each of these icons one by one. Here on Shopify, click select image, and then you can upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. This is a fully pre-made Shopify theme template. It will save you a ton of time from having to do all of this from scratch. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, it will come in a zip format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. This is a full template bundle, so I've included a step-by-step -step instruction guide in case you need help editing this website template. And this bundle also includes all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating in this video. I've designed all of these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download them. This pre-made Shopify template will save you a ton of time. That will be linked in my description box below. Then I'm going to add an image banner section, and I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page, set the background to a dark gray color. Then I'm going to search for an abstract element and add one of these to the top of the page. Scroll down and open their frames, and I'm going to be uploading a square frame. 
Then you can drag and drop a picture onto that frame. I'm gonna upload a square shape, set this to the color white, then position this behind that picture. Upload a text box, apply the font Futura, then put this in uppercase. Upload another text box, and I'm gonna apply the font The Signature. Then I'm gonna upload another text box, put this in bold, then uppercase. And here you can type in some of your product features. Under shapes, I'm gonna upload a circle shape, and then I'm gonna upload a check mark icon. You're gonna select and then duplicate this icon. Once you're finished, you're gonna download this page. Here on Shopify, you can upload it into this image banner. And under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt a first image. Next, I'm gonna add another image banner section. And I'm gonna remove the container on desktop. Here, you can insert your text, then retitle and link the button labels. I'm gonna set this to color scheme two. Then open color scheme 2 and change the solid button background to white and the solid button label to black. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page, change the background to black, then upload a square frame. And you can design this page however you would like. I'm going to be duplicating this and reducing the opacity of it. And then you can drag and drop your pictures onto the frames. I'm going to upload a text box. Here you can type in the name of your business and I'm going to apply the font the signature. Next, I'm going to download this page. Here on Shopify, I'm going to upload that background image. Then under image behavior, I'm going to apply the zoom in on the scroll. Above this section, I'm going to add a rich text section. And I'm going to remove all the text and the button label. Then I'm going to repeat that step right below this section. That will create a border. I'm going to open typography. And I'm going to change the main font to DM Sans Bold. And I'm going to change the secondary font to Assistant Bold. Then I'm going to add a multi-column. Set this to Color Scheme 2. Then you can retitle this section. Then you can retitle and link the button label. And I'm also going to increase the number of columns to 4. I'm going to set the column alignment to center. And right here, you can display 4 of those reviews. So under Heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then, when you open those AliExpress reviews, you can copy and paste the reviews that you'd like to display. And I'll just be using this text as an example. Next, I'm going to import an image banner. And I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. Then, you can insert your text and link the button label. Here on Canva, I'm going to click Add Page. And you can upload a few of your brand pictures. Then, you can download this page and upload it into the About Us section here on Shopify. Under Image Behavior, I'm gonna apply the fixed background position. Next, I'm gonna be adding an email signup. This step is optional, and I'm gonna apply Color Scheme 3. Then I'm gonna open Color Scheme 3 and apply a gradient background. And the gradient is gonna be black and dark gray. Next, I'm gonna add an image banner. Back here on Canva, you're gonna click Add Page. I'm going to upload a text box and apply the font the signature. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font Futura. Then I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller text right below it. I'm going to upload another text box, and here you can type in your TikTok username. And I'm going to apply the font Futura and put this in italic. Then I'm going to upload a square shape, change this to the color black, then apply a white border. Then you can search for the TikTok icon and upload one of these. Then you're going to open frames and upload a phone shaped frame. Then under videos, you can drag and drop any videos into these frames. Then you're going to download this page in an mp4 format. Here on Shopify, I'm going to add a video section. I'm going to remove the heading, then set this to color scheme 2. I'm going to select play video on loop. Then I'm going to add a rich text. And I'm going to remove the text and apply color scheme 2. Then you can retitle this section, apply the outline button style, then paste the link leading straight to your TikTok. Then you can upload that video. And here is how that section will look on mobile.
Alright, and here is the finished Shopify dropshipping website. And as I mentioned, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. This is a fully done for you Shopify theme template. It will save you a ton of time. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, it will come in a zip format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. The website is already laid out for you. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you see me creating in this video. So you wouldn't have to do any of that from scratch. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need to open, edit, and download them is a free Canva account. There is also a detailed instruction guide included for how to edit the theme, and that will be linked in my description box below. By the way, don't forget to grab my Shopify basics guide if you are a beginner to Shopify. In the guide, I've put together a ton of information regarding setting up your Shopify store, connecting your payment methods, reading your analytics page, and so much more. I've included a collection of video tutorials, written text, and live examples. That will be linked in my description box as well, and be sure to use my code BEVERLY20 for 20% off your order. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.